Instructions to make a 10-rung DNA ladder out of modelling balloons. Created for Guinness World Record Day 2015 attempt at the world's largest maths and science lesson. You will find instructions to prepare for this lesson on our website. Every learner takes a balloon from container 1. Work in teams of two. Every team pick one white balloon and one coloured balloon. Every learner should now be holding a balloon and each team of two will have one white balloon and one coloured balloon. Push air to one end of the balloon, place fingers two centimetres from the end and squeeze to form a two centimetre sphere, a join bubble. Hold the twist or it will pop out. Everyone should have a join bubble at the far top of their balloon and a small uninflated tail at the other end of their balloon. Some balloons might have the bubble at the wobbly end and the other end is very tight, it will pop. So all you have to do is let the bubble go, turn it around, squeeze to the other end, make your two centimeter join bubble and hold the twist. Twist the two join bubbles together. You now have a nucleotide with one backbone and one base molecule. Continue making nucleotides until container 1 is empty. You should now have 20 pairs. Leave the contents in container 2. They are your spares. When all the nucleotides are made, Teams with yellow nucleotides find a team with a blue nucleotide and teams with red nucleotides find a team with a green nucleotide. Take a colour balloon, measure a 10 cm bubble on the colour balloon. Squeeze and twist. Hold a twist. Check the length and adjust it if necessary. Do the same with the other colour and once you have two bubbles, join them together. You now have one rung of your DNA ladder, green with red, yellow with blue. If you don't have that combination, take them apart and correct. You should now have 10 pairs of nucleotides. First team should measure a 10 cm white bubble. Squeeze and twist, hold the twist. You will now have two white join bubbles ready to twist onto the next rung. Join them at the point where the coloured balloon and the white balloons come together. Twist all three join bubbles together and repeat for the other white balloon. As before, double check the measurement if it isn't 10 cm. Let the bubble out and measure again. Attach the white bubble join onto the white and coloured bubble join at the base of the V so again you have three bubble joins connected. You now have two rungs in your DNA ladder. On occasion you will find two white balloons being connected together. It happens and all you have to do is disconnect them and continue to connect the ladder as it should be with the white connecting to the junction between the coloured and the white balloons as shown. You now have a very wobbly higgledy-piggledy ladder. It must now lay flat to produce a good double helix. Everyone can join in to help. Adjust the join bubbles along the spine. They lie in clusters of three. Place them 90 degrees from each other. So you have coloured, white, coloured, white. If you have any bubbles that have popped, it's best to replace them. If you don't have time, it's not the end of the world. Adjust it as best you can. Once you've adjusted all the bubbles along the backbone, 
Turn it around and concentrate on the central bubbles where the colour bubbles join. So they are opposite each other on either side of the 10 cm bubbles. Preferably have the top join bubble match the colour of the left hand 10 cm bubble to provide a great final effect. Give it those last few tweaks so that it lays nice and flat, ready to create your double helix. Take two more white balloons and attach them to the end of the ladder that doesn't have the white balloon sticking out so that your ladder has four white handles. Hold on yeah, to it, yeah. there we go. Now Leon twists it. Twist it yeah. Right, did you want to join it up with this one that I twisted? Help work with Mummy. And how old is Leon? You're going to struggle with I am seven. Well, hey! Two learners should hold the white handles of the ladder, measure the distance between the learners, and make some final adjustments. Have the first learner rotate the ladder by 180 degrees clockwise and hold it. Both learners should move closer together as the ladder twists. Measure the distance between them. Then have the second learner rotate the ladder by 180 degrees clockwise and hold it. Again, both learners should move closer together as the ladder twists. What is the distance now? You have to judge what looks right. You have now rotated the ladder by 360 degrees and made a double helix 10 rung DNA ladder.